Hey guys, it's Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So, it's been a while since I recorded anything even though I have been uploading um, as frequently, I mean on schedule, but it's been a while since I recorded something and it's been a while since I drew something that's just character design related. So I did my OC and if you've been watching me for a couple of months now, you may have seen that I uploaded the original character design for this. And that was like the, um, that, the character design for that reflected the character's personality as well. And there's a lot of special effects like wind blowing and stuff like that. But for this particular piece, I wanted to make a pose that was just plain standing pose that featured how the, how the clothes would work if there was no wind with just plain gravity. And one of my other goals for this drawing was to practice cell shading. Well, not really practice but try it out since I don't really use it. And as you know, I have a tendency to use more of the painterly style. So I blend a lot, I use a lot of shadows, highlights, um, color adjustments. But for this one, I just wanted it to be very quick and easy to do. Uh, I was also somewhat practicing anatomy to some extent because I don't really usually do front facing standing poses. I usually do three fourths and something somewhat dynamic or setting poses. So I was pushing myself a little bit with this. I redid the pose several times even though I did cut that out from the video already. But I reworked a lot of the anatomy several times and just that. So um, the design has not changed since my first upload of this particular design. It's just how it would look like if he was standing and there's just gravity so that's it i'm also somewhat practicing new video editing te techniques um i cut out a lot of the sketching portion and i cut out some of the stuff that would be a bit dizzying if i kept it in like me shimming around the canvas a lot even though i did try to stay as still as possible when i was doing the stream I'm actually, just for fun, uh, making a book, I guess, or it's just a personal PDF where I keep all the designs of my characters and uh, the, the, the breakdowns are there and it's just to practice my layouting skills and just to keep all my characters, character designs in one place. I do like how this turned out though. Uh, usually, I, as I mentioned, I use the blending style to do my works, but the cell shading style also turned out pretty nice. It it was a bit hard to translate how I usually do this character with my regular style, uh, but I did figure it out eventually how to make his hair this orangey tinge without making it look too orange, and it was a fun experience. It did take several streams to complete, but it was interesting to do. The key here was to use only the most essential shadows like with the hair originally i wasn't even gonna do the shadows anymore but i couldn't resist leaving it flat uh, I, I couldn't resist adding in some depth because i don't really like seeing it flat rather uh, so i just added in those essential shadows there's no like multi layering of shadows which i usually do with pieces that have lighting and it's just plain and simple Perhaps it's a bit late since it's been 4 minutes into the video but as you can see there is some nudity so if you want to just you know fast forward or something though there's nothing really explicit I mean he's pretty much a candle and I left it like that so I don't need to deal with you know his genitals when because drawing genitals unless it's female drawing genitals is a bit tough because well, it dangles and, and like that thing sort of you know folds in when they're wearing underwear so instead of giving myself a hard time i just left him like that so it's just easy to draw his pants over it and it's not necessary so yeah the feet actually gave me a bit of a hard time uh, mainly because i'm not really used to 
drawing front facing feet so I wasn't really sure how the toes would work so I had to use reference a lot and kept on reworking the toes until I got somewhat a good look to it other than that I tried to make his anatomy more masculine because I, because I tend to make my boys when I draw them kind of like super curvy like how you would draw girls but they're flat chested and have broad shoulders instead but that didn't really look correct so I tried to make it so that his hips and his shoulders more or less because that's how you do it they should more or less align uh, when you draw guys instead of like that super curvy hourglass shape that I used to prefer um, I'm trying to make it more realistically correct <laughs> anatomically correct it's not perfect but I'm gonna keep on practicing that particular thing especially since I draw boys a lot them So, to create the shadows, as you can see here, I was actually using the pen tool. So, if you're familiar with like Photoshop, Sai, uh, and especially Adobe Illustrator, the pen tool, which you use usually for vectors, is a line that you can manipulate and it would give you hard shapes like this. So, I just cut out me using it because it took a lot of time since it's, it relies on points. but. Uh, instead of me manually drawing the sharp edges myself, I used that and then made it softer or rounder with my pen tool or my brush tool and then used the airbrush to soften some of the shadows so that it had this nice gradient effect so it's not like super hard shadow since uh, as I've learned in some of my... well, I guess they're not super reliable but um, you know how you have those how to draw manga magazines when you were younger uh, that's where i first encountered how to or learned how to do cell shading shading uh, it said there that um well in that particular magazine they would use the burn tool to create the depths in their cell shading what i did instead is that i um got my base color and then used that to make the gradient to blend out somewhat the shadows and not make it look super sharp and stark and contrasting too much so it would leave this nice soft impression of the shape of the shadows but it's not too cutting edgy sharp thing so this was one of the main reasons why i wanted the standing pose because he does have a cloak but Whenever I draw him wearing the cloak, it was always like a sort of a windy effect thing so that I could show off the clothes under. So this is what it would look like if there's no wind and just plain gravity and he was just standing. He's not moving around or dancing or running or anything. So it would certainly uh, cover up maybe like 60-70% of the design. But since it's... Um, but since it's his pose, since his pose is like slightly with his arms out, 
his uniform under could still peek out a bit and I really did that so that I could still somewhat show off design under and I don't want to have it covered completely because I worked so hard on that design so yeah. So if you're not familiar with how I do my character designs, usually I would draw the different layers of clothing on top of each other so as you saw earlier I did like this maroonish undershirt with the pants and the boots and then I put his uni stiffer uniform, his stiffer blue uniform on top because that's how he would wear the clothes along with the accessories and then now on the third layer we're doing the cloak because that's the thing that's the most on top. So when you hide certain layers you can see, you can kind of reveal or hide some of his clothing I guess. Though it won't be perfect because in, because because the second layer where his uniform is would take up some space and I would draw around that space, um, there would be holes in the cloak but it would give the idea of, you know, how the how, how his clothing would layer over each other. I'm also trying to do a one take recording with my voiceovers because I tend to keep on redoing them whenever I stumble or talk too much but um, I'm trying to do it in one take now just so that it's not not so time consuming and it makes it more authentic I guess. I'll just cut out like the parts where I don't talk. As usual I'll just insert music. So, we are nearing the end of the video, we will be going into the preview soon, and yes, there we go. So he's on a transparent layer, so that's like he's floating in space. So I hope you guys enjoyed, please follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, DeviantArt, maybe even subscribe to my channel, I do a lot of fan art and character designing and watercolor, and I'll see you around.